Over the past few days, we've been in the area of Best Stone. And on the American Artifact series, we've been showing some of the artifacts that are connected with the guys from Easy Company uh, in the 506th uh, Parachute Infantry Regiment of the 101st Airborne. The Gettysburg Museum of History has the, the largest collection of Easy Company artifacts of any place in the world. So we've been showing uh, a few of those things. Well, in the series Band of Brothers, there's uh, a scene at the end of the fighting at the Battle of the Bulge where the guys have moved north out of Bastogne and they come into the village where I am right now at Rasham and the episode closes out with them in a church and a, a choir is singing to them. Well, we are in Rasham right now and uh, we, we've brought something along today that is connected with one of the guys who fought with Easy Company, and we're gonna clear up a few things about that convent. building that we are looking at right here is a place that a lot of Easy Company veterans recalled in their later years a small choir organized by nuns singing to them. So here in Rasham, this was a place where the men could kind of rest and recuperate. Forrest Guth in his later years recalled how the nuns really uh, took care of them uh, after they had you know gone through the fighting at Bastogne and Foix and Noville, and in the, the series, uh, they, they really do a good job of driving home the loss that these men have gone through. Uh, they're all sitting in their pews and you see different figures disappearing. Uh, men like Hubler and Muck and Pinkala and Toy and, and Garnier. Um, you know, the, this company had really suffered a heavy loss. Now in the show, they depict all of that happening in the church. Uh, but it wasn't in the church, it was in this building right here. Uh, so this is kind of like a, a Catholic school and at the time also was kind of like a community center over here on the left hand side. As a matter of fact, if you look up here, you can still see this uh, statue of Christ. Uh, the, the building today still serves as a Catholic school. Uh, so that's one little difference between uh, the reality and the show. But uh, the events depicted happened right here. One other thing that I do want to point out, uh, the Germans held this position before the Americans moved in. And this area was strafed by different American fighter bombers. And you can still see evidence of the like shrapnel and bomb damage right here on on this building so yeah any, anywhere i go again you all know me i have to show uh bits of derelict concrete and uh battle damage wherever i wherever i happen to wander so i'm holding forest goose m43 jacket and we wanted to bring it back to this spot because there's a really good photograph of Forrest Guth wearing this jacket and in the photograph he is um, shaven and cleaned up and this was the area where Easy Company kind of wrapped up their campaign in this area so um, we believe that you know this was the approximate area where the photo was taken in his book it says that it was taken in Newville but um, we don't think he would have been able to look the way he did in the photo in Newville. Um, this was the first time Easy Company got a chance to rest a little bit and um, clean up a little bit and he's very clean in the picture and probably washed his jacket. Um, but this is Forrest Goose M43 jacket. It has his name Goose here on a name tape and that was unusual. Most guys in Easy Company did not have name tapes but Goose did and it has his Screaming Eagle patch here and his corporal rank. It also has inside his service number and his, um, his name Guth stenciled in there. That was his stencil. 
but um, I've never brought this back. Um, this is the first time and I really wanted to do that to honor Forrest Guth and, um, and the men in BZ Company. In the village of Rasham, there's an Easy Company memorial, and uh, Bill Garnier and, and Babe Heffern were here in 2002 to uh, basically dedicate this memorial. Now, a lot of people come here, and they think that the plaque that is situated on a piece of wood is the memorial. The memorial is actually this tree right here. This is a chestnut tree that Babe and Bill uh, both planted with the children of this village. But anyway. Uh, that was a, a little bit from the village of Rasham. <laughs>